very brief introductory video. I was out yesterday doing Draycott Slights. Today's the 22nd, it's the Tuesday, and I'm out again because the weather is going to turn. This isn't going to be a, as good as yesterday weather-wise, and it could rain by, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe earlier. So, the buses are back to normal times now at the moment, but new restrictions might change that again. Basically, I've come out on the bus an hour earlier. I've now got the two hours I lost. I've got the hour at the beginning and the hour at the end. That's allowed me to do a longer walk, uh, which I've wanted to do this summer, but it's not the ultra long one that I normally do. It has been, it is being squeezed a bit anyway. Um, because, mainly because of the weather, to tell the truth. If it's, it's going to start raining and getting all horrible by three o'clock, I don't want to be stuck on the end ups. Um, so where am I heading? I'm heading for Piney Slights, passing, skirting Piney Slights. I'm doing a walk in reverse, if you like, to what I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to go, when I get to the cattle grid, after Piney Slates Farm, I'm going to turn left instead of right. I'm not going to go down through Sheep Longfield. I might come back that way later, more than likely. But what I'm doing is um, I'm going to go past the old farm where the old rusty ruined tractor is. Um, I'm going up towards Tynings Stables. They're not far. I'm going up towards Tiny and Stables. And then up a steep short stretch to the top of the area of outstanding natural beauty, which will be the Mendip, top of the Mendip Hills. And then gonna walk straight onwards, <coughs> heading for what I call the parade. It's a big wide piece of um, track. It's really wide. I call it the parade or the promenade. I'm going to follow that till I'm not quite down the bottom. <sighs> then I'm turning off and I'm going across the, not the absolute base, but quite a bit down the other side of the area of Outstanding Beauty where it's very pretty where there's usually little streams that you can cross and you're near Burrington Coombe which is on the other side of a, a road. I've just got to go up hill now. I've got and then I'll head towards Longwood after that. I'll come back on when I well I'll be on before then but you'll see the progress as I go. Now, the reason I'm going to turn off now is I did the hard route up Cheddar Gorge, up through the wood. I sort of took down the higher one and round steady. I came straight up and I got really breathless. Um, but it's given my lungs a brilliant clearing. But my pack is always heavy at the start of the walk. It's very heavy. Three bottles of water, you know, cameras, coat, umbrella, food, first aid kit, hat. Um, it's, it's got a, a, the umbrellas, the extra today. But I make, basically, it's the same as yesterday, but I didn't have to climb. Although I was going uphill from Draycott, it wasn't vertical. That one isn't vertical back there, but it is. It's a bit steeper than this all the way up. It's quite a big hike. And I had to have two big rests just to get my breath back. This one's a bit steadier. I heard other people coughing and spluttering coming up behind me. Nobody really likes doing it. I don't really like going down it either. But, uh, I'll see which way I go down on the way back and what the time's like. 
like I say, I've now got, <laughs> really, I've got an extra two and a half hours, which allows me to fit in just a little bit more of the walk. Now these hills do slow me up, so the start of the walk is always quite slow. And don't forget, I am 68. I do have breathing difficulties, but they haven't put me in a wheelchair, you know? So basically, I am quite fit really, but uh, the lungs have taken a battering over the years with smoking, being exposed to smoke, not just fag smoke, coal smoke, wood smoke. You know, in my lifetime, we've all taken a battering with our lungs. So, a lot of us have got breathing problems. Now, in a minute, I'll be nearly at the top of there. It'll have flatten off and I'll be able to ease up the breathing. Now, I wasn't going to leave the camera on. But basically, if people want to know why it takes me so long, come with me one day when you're 68. Right? Of course, young people will go quicker. So I used to I would have run up here when I was 30, 40. Yeah. I want to run up here. I think I hear someone. Right, so in a minute we'll be at Piney Slides very, very soon now. I'm going to turn off. Now, just, I just want to mention one thing. Autumn's come very early this year indeed. Something is quite wrong. Look at this bracken, it's all brown. Look at the trees, they are losing their leaves already. You know, most years they hang on to like November. No, there's something wrong with the climate. Something drastic's happened, I think. I really do believe it. And let's hope we get through the winter. One more thing. Boris Johnson's on telly tonight at eight. He's on a little bit at lunchtime to introduce the new restrictions. Now, while when people say, oh, she, we've seen that walk. No, it's different. Times are different. We've got a COVID event come up going on. And I always like to include world events. And it's a reflective visual diary. If you know, I use the walks to actually talk about stuff. I'm not actually doing a detailed study of every bush. It isn't one of them. So later I'll be able to find out what they've got in line for us as they introduce the second wave. A lot of pubs are saying they can't. They're not going to be able to do the new rules, so they won't open. Some of the rules are they got to shut by 10. A lot of the little pubs said that's fair enough. But now they want the staff in the pub. It might best be one who's doing the bar to wait to, to do wait, wait your service. At the moment, he said, I'm behind my bar, keeping a safe distance from all the various people they interviewed about this morning. He said, now I've got to expose myself by leaving my safe area. You know, so there's, a, there's, there's an awful lot of stressful times coming up for a lot of people. I mean, let's face it, weddings and funerals have changed. Some people haven't even been able, been able to go have a proper funeral. Um, people can't have the big weddings they wanted. Well, I, I don't care about that. Oh, there's been all sorts of stuff. Even women giving birth. Right? In lots of cases, can't have their husband with them until she's actually going to push the baby out. <sighs> Some of it is so ambiguous. Anyway, this is a long introductory video. Just listen to that noise. 
a siren. That's the quarry gonna blast. Hear that? That's a big blast. You imagine I had thought about going that way today. Bet that would have, I bet I would have felt the earth move. That was a big blast. Now, this is just quite a long video. Many years ago, I had a boyfriend who was a manager of a quarry. He was also a geologist. And they used to find all sorts of fossils. But he said the power of planning to blow up a large piece of ground of geological significance and archaeological, he said, was frightening. Because they were blowing up history, if you like. And he said it was a, it was exciting, but also a little bit worrying, really. You know, every time you quarry for something, you destroy. So, right, folks, I've managed to get up to Piney Slights. And to prove it, I'm going to take you to the sign. So we talked a bit about COVID. Still finishing that wall. We've talked a bit about my breathing. And I've given you an outline of today's walk. Which, by the way, does involve more hill. It's not a good day for photography. And as you know, I've videoed many times. But I'll probably be back on again in a minute. Here we are, Piney Slights and the lovely style. I'm walking around today. A lot of cows sat down in the field, which means rain's coming. Over there we've got... Come on everyone, what is it? Robero Warren! The tall pine trees. The reference point I use all the time on the Mendips. Can't see Axbridge very good today, the reservoir. I said, don't know where the cows are, but they're sat down. I reckon the cows have either gone over there because there's fresh cow pack. They sometimes go down that way at certain times of the day or that night, I'm not sure which. Then they tend to make their way over to the low far field over here in the daytime. Now before now I've got through this gate and come face to face with a cow. I quickly turned around and went back over there. <laughs> Mind you, I've got various ways to get in and out of this field, depending on where the cows are. I can follow an old track over there, and then get in, if they're up here, get over a stile further up. I thought I can't miss this opportunity today, really, because, um, one, they're re for the next... After today, the next three days are supposed to be terrible. Then they're supposed to ease up a bit on Saturday. <sighs> but basically, although it's autumn, it's an early autumn. I'm looking at all the bushes. I can't believe how bare they are. Honestly, yeah, the cows are all down there. And I don't know if they'll be up here when I come back. So I've got alternative plans. I get in a gate down there and go past those trees and down that way. And I might be doing that anyway. Later. Later. I'm going to be right up on the air of Outstanding Beauty. <sighs> not right as far as the aerials today because I'm not doing Velvet Bottom. But I will be not far from there. Oh, looks like they've uh, cut the big field there because that was beautiful when all the long grasses and the flowers were there a couple months back. I had problems with the other camera and it all turned out 
different colors. It was weird. Um, so I didn't actually publish that lot. I kept some though. I kept the images, but <laughs> the photos were okay. It was the video that came out weird. <sighs> yeah, the cows have gone right down there now. They've got a lot of freedom. <sighs> no, no, so I'm going down through the farm now. Turning off and going up. Well, not far from Piney Slights. They'll look quite close. Not Piney Slights, um, the pine trees. They will look quite close when I get right over there by the Tynings Farm. Yeah, that wind's a bit nippy. But I've got so hot coming up the hill that uh, I had to take my jumper off. Right, over and out, folks. Let's go. All the sparrows are playing. Look at them all. And they might not be sparrows, they might be some sort of finch. I don't know, I reckon they're sparrows. All playing. I don't know if they emigrate, I'm not sure. I don't know much about sparrows. 